praise to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Uh, back at it, man, these winds just seem like they keep getting faster and faster. Uh, to, today's class, it will be dealing with uh, a lot of our nation don't know where their history begins. Um, a lot of them, it begins on the slave ships. That's where our history begins because while we out on, while, while the reason why we out there on them streets is to teach them who they truly are. But that's the part when they start resisting and fighting us. Uh, not wanting to know who they are, don't care, not understanding that our enemy has taught us to be individualites, or uh, really there's nigga lights, and to hate your brother. And this is what the thing is with we're bringing back here today uh, the understanding of being a nation and understanding can be lukewarm and cold in this. It's a, it's a daily life. But see, a lot of us sometimes, we don't understand that. We get caught up in the things that's not important. Let me tell you something. Being hungry will become important. Um, Yahweh Shah is not going to play the mess with nobody. Um, this is what we're seeing in Israel. Just like this, this rapper that passed, the so-called passed. That's what everybody gravitate. I keep telling you. Our people is all the way about the drama. They love drama. They can't see it no way. That's what they thrive in. They like mess. And he said he the God of peace. So you're not in the spirit if you're not in the his spirit. So, but we're going to dive into this uh, Deuteronomy. We're going to go there since they only know where their history starts. It starts in the Bible. It's a part of the Bible. Uh, since you, you can ask them, how do we get here? They'll tell you slave shit, but we're trying to get them the understanding that this is a part of the curse. Let's read it first. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. See, because they thinking that's talking about Egypt over there. It's not Egypt, man. It was never called Egypt. Uh, this is the name that Esau really put forth. But Egypt is a synonymous word for captivity, bondage. So, why was we in Egypt the first time we was there in bondage? Because of the other nations' hatred for us. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Nobody understands that. What are we not going to see again? Read on. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemy. A lot of times when we are trying to show people that they have enemies, the Bible say, never trust thy enemies. How is it that you got a school when you got your enemies in there? Talk to some brothers from a, a school, and they got Edomites in their officers and captains. I'm just like, man, this is madness going on. Read on. For bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Back in the old days, your brother could redeem you. And this time, Yahweh starts saying, ain't no man shall redeem you, but the Messiah himself. But let's read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Hold up, right there. Let's get that in Psalms 105, 23. 105, verse 23. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 23. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. What was that? What was, what is the Africa called today? In the land of Ham. Read on. And he increased his people greatly. And, and the Israelites increased greatly. Read. And made them stronger than their enemies. We always stronger than our enemies. You stronger than the stinking Africans, man. Read on. 
He turned their heart to hate his people. He turned their hearts to hate his peoples. And a lot of times we got people that want us to be Kimmy. They don't understand. That's why you see a lot of these Kimmy guys, they don't have no African friends. Nobody deals with these Kimmy dudes. Read on. To deal subtly with his servants. Deal very harsh with his servants, man. Read on. He sent Moses, his servant. He always sending a prophet, man. Read. And Aaron, whom he had chosen. Whom he hath chosen. Read. They showed his signs among them. They were showing his signs amongst the Israelites. Read. And wonders in the land of Ham. So, when you understand, that's the land of Ham, man. A lot of times, give me Exodus 20 and 2. A lot of times, our people get caught up with Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. They thinking the Nile and all that stuff. It's the land of Ham. It's really the land of bondage for the Israelites. Read that. I, the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. This is Yahweh Shari. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Egypt is read on. Out of the house of bondage. That's what it's called, man. Captivity. That's why he said he would bring us back into Egypt again. Why would how is this Egypt? Is it ain't it called America? Give me Exodus 1 and 14. The book of Exodus, chapter 1 and verse 14. And they made their lives bitter. Hold up. Ain't the same thing going on here? Ain't our lives bitter? Some people happy here in captivity. I know I'm not. See, when you happy here, you're not, you're not in the spirit, man. You can't be happy for yourself. We got a nation out here starving to death. We got people out here killing each other, man. He have taught us to hate each other, and we got Israelites that's comfortable in their in they, in they skin. That let me know you're not in the spirit. I'm here for the nations. Read. With hard bodies. With what? With hard bodies. See, some of them got their nice houses and stuff, man. They feel like, hey, I pulled my pants up, man. No, you, they just know you was a sellout. You wasn't going to call. You wasn't going to stir up no trouble around here. See, he understands how to, to, to deal with the spirits. Read on. In mortar. In mortar, read. And in brick. Read on. And in all manner of service in the field. We went through the same captivity in Egypt as we going through right here in Babylon. Read. All their service, wherein they made them serve, was with rigor. Rigor. A lot of people thinking they go to job. Man, you go to a job punch. When you punch that time clock, it's rigor. You have to get up in the morning, it's rigor. You have to go serve your enemy, it's rigor. He gonna take taxes out your check. You gotta go pay your cell phone taxes, car insurance taxes, car notice taxes, house taxes. Everything you do, he, your life is rigor. See, a lot of people don't see that. They feel like they go and spend forty hours a week. They good. No man, you're in captivity. What are you doing for your family? You can't do nothing for them. What's leaving them a few dollars on the insurance policy? They gonna blow it because they don't have no understanding of who they are. Let's go back again, man. Deuteronomy 28, 68. See, because this is the only thing that our people know that we came over here on ships. But they never apply it to the Bible. Read that up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. We came over here on cargo slave ship. Give me that first video up. I just want them to see. So, when this video do go out, maybe someone will get some understanding. Go ahead and play it. From about 1525 to 1866, 12 and a half million Africans were taken from their homeland and forcibly shipped across the Atlantic, a journey that almost 2 million of them wouldn't survive. By the turn of the 18th century, European merchants were building vessels capable of transporting hundreds of slaves per journey. These ships had extra quarters for ventilation, weapons mounted on deck in case of rebellion, and additional compartments added below deck to take on more human cargo. Before boarding the ships at African port cities, slaves were stripped of their clothing uh, and remaining possessions. There we go. I always tell them this. 
Why would you strip us of our clothing when we don't need clothing? <clears throat> they didn't want people to have their fringes on. They wanted to destroy every ounce of who we were. And that was one reason, bringing us over here naked. Play the video. And had their heads completely shaved. During boarding, which could take weeks or even months, slaves lived on the deck of the ship in a temporary wooden house constructed by the crew. The crew also installed netting around the deck of the ship, designed to catch slaves who might opt for death over forced servitude. Once hit below deck, slaves would find themselves stuffed into compartments with ceilings as low as four and a half feet, where they would spend most of their voyage. They were segregated by gender and age. Adult men were kept separately and shackled in place. Women usually left unbound in their designated compartment, and children often free to move about the ship. There was no plumbing of any kind. Slaves were forced to relieve themselves where they sat, creating hellish conditions when combined with the heat and lack of ventilation below deck. Disease was rampant. Measles, smallpox, influenza, scurvy, and dysentery, the number one killer, ravaged slaves and crew members alike. Hey, uh, generally spent about eight hours a day above deck, but was still separated uh, by... Read Deuteronomy uh, uh, 2861. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness... Well, what was going on in, underneath them decks? Every sickness read. and every plague... Read on. ...which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee Read on. until thou be destroyed. Play on the video, man. Barricada, a reinforced wall that could be used to protect crew members in case of a revolt. Slaves were also subject to forced exercise, sometimes including dance and song for the entertainment of the crew. Pardon. Give me Psalms 137, man. 137 and 2. The book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 2. Start at verse 3. Verse 3. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. So, in this Bible prophecy, read on. And they that wasted us, they that destroyed us, read, required of us mercy. They wanted us to entertain them, to make them laugh, read. Say, sing us one of those songs of Zion. Now you understand what the slave ship is all about. Play on. Disobedient slaves were tortured and beaten, usually whipped with the especially cruel cat and nine tails, a tool designed to inflict maximum pain. Give me Leviticus 26. Start at verse 19. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 19. And I will break the pride of your power. That's what he was doing, man. He was breaking because our people got pride on them. Read on. And I will make your heaven as iron. Iron, leg iron, three. And your earth as brass. Brass, man. Matter of fact, go up to verse 17. Verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemy. Read on. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursue you. And just try to jump off that ship. Read on. And, and if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sin. Play the video, man. People hard here, man. Well, of rights and grievance were forced to do so, sometimes with a speculant voice, a medieval tool to get your eye open unwilling mouths. Women, while usually left unshackled, were raped and sexually abused by the How can any white black sister be an Israelite sister be dating? How can any school out here be still teaching that people in this okay? That's, that's what's wrong with our people, man. Well, you know, Sometimes arriving in the new world carrying the children of their attackers. But it was the women, using their minuscule freedoms, who would often coordinate mutinies against their captors. The food rebellions were rarely successful. The true extent of the horrors of the Middle Passage came to light in the 1783 trial. So they're going to give you that good old Kofi Kinte movie where it came and got came and just 
No, we was rising up, man. There's probably a lot of information we'll never find out how we were fighting back. Might, and, and that's what a real man would do. He would try to free his nation. A coward would just go along for him. Over the slave ship Zong. The Zong left Africa in 1781 with 414 slaves on board. After a two month journey riddled with navigation errors, 62 slaves and seven crew members had perished without reaching their destination. Disease was spreading throughout the ship, and fresh water was running dangerously low. Captain Luke Collingwood was afraid of the financial cost and more deaths. Slaves that died of disease were not covered by the ship's insurance. The slaves who drowned. Who do you think these insurance companies are here today? These bankers are the same ones that you go put your money in. Play on. Some 133 slaves were thrown overboard. Collingwood claimed it was necessary to do so to help the spread of disease. At the trial between the Zong's owners and their insurance company, the owners argued that because it was legal to kill sick animals for the health of a ship, it was legal to treat infected slaves the same. Some people don't the understand. But the trial itself exposed the horrors aboard the Zong. The story was republished by British abolitionists with the name of the ship redacted, meant to show that this tragedy could happen on any slave ship. Let's see it on that, man. Give me Jeremiah 42, 15. See, the problem is, our people don't want the truth. They want to be unified in lives. They want to sit up and say we should go out there and treat our enemies. They want to pull Deuteronomy 23 and 7, man. How are you not going to hate the people that did this to you, man? You got to be a good class clown and not to hate them. Read uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 42 and verse 15. And now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. It's only going to save a remnant, man. Read. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. The God of who? The God of Israel. See, they don't. When you bring in this out, man, it, it hurts these nations, man, to know we are the children. Read. If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there. See, a lot of our people, when we had first came out of Egypt, they wanted to go back. Some people love it here, man. <laughs> Their mind love being in bondage. They don't understand freedom. They don't understand what it's like to own your own land and plant your own seed and not be in bondage. Read on. Then it shall come to pass. It say it will happen, man. Read. That the sword. The what? That the sword. This is how he's still killing us today. Read. Which he feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt. Read on. And the famine. What? And the famine. Lack of food. And the famine. Whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you. There in Egypt. In bondage. Read. And there ye shall die. What is, we, we've been dying for centuries. And, you know, why we just can't come together and love each other. The hardest thing I see, and when I see these attitudes, when I see this stuff going on in Israel, I be going to pull out the sword myself, man, and get rid of a plague. Read. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword. Read on. By the famine and by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. So it's no way out, Kimmy. None of this stuff that these brothers out here pushing, man. And that's why you see Esau. He pushes. He don't care. He, he, let me tell you something, man. I... Where that book at? This book, man. See, I know ain't nobody in Israel dealing with this. This is a secret service all the way back when King James. They know who we are. They know weak spirit mans, man. Your enemy know you. He keep tabs on you. He probably sit down and eat with some of y'all. Read on. For thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as my anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem. The peoples read on. So shall my fury be poured forth upon upon you, when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be in execration. That's going into the anger, a curse. Read. And an astonishment. We are in an astonishment, man. We can't, we in Israel, we can't even get along, man. Until we start coming together as a nation, it's going to continue, man, because 
he shall seek out weak means. Read. And they curse, and they reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. Read on. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye women of Judah, go ye not into Egypt. Don't go, don't let your spiritual mind, don't, don't let your mind take heed to those doctrines. Don't be like the other nations. Because what have we been into? Seven different Egypt, seven different bondage. Read. Know certainly that I have admonished you this day. And when the Most High is dealing with us, our people don't like to hearken, man. They don't like to put down everything that they love and walk in the spirit of brotherhood, sisterhood. We still hold on to things that it's not going to benefit Israel. Back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Since this is the only thing that they know, I want to pound it in their head. Read that. I the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we come over here? With ships. We came over here on cargo slave ships. They've been mass transporting us from different continents, and we don't really know how how many because they won't let us have those records. But you have to understand, they celebrate their killers, Christopher Kelly Columbus. He was the first. So this has been going on over 600 plus years. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland. We're not going to know who we are. We're not going to know our customs. We're not going to know anything about us. Read on. And then ye shall be sold. Hold up. We shall be what? Ye shall be sold. Give me that next video, man. I want to pound it in the head. Eighteen forty one, New Orleans, ground zero for the slave trade. It's auction day, the day every slave fears the most. In the first half of the nineteenth century, over half a million slaves are sold at auction. It's a business worth two billion dollars to the southern economy. Since the cotton boom, the uh, value of hey, slaves has see that man back there jumping. Now, that's why they do the NFL players, don't they? Just an, another form of slavery, but they don't know it. Just like basketball, just like back in the Greek Coliseum, they took care of the mans that did all they and they they filled coliseums with. So they're gonna take care of them, but they they don't love them. Why do you think all the time after their career over they go broke, except the ones that they really love? They don't really love them, but they hate them. The ones that they use the most. Like Michael Jordan, I hear he got another shoe coming out. It's going to be a lot of killing going on around here for a $15 pair of shoes. Play on. Cost $1,000. Women, 800 Children, 500 Solomon Northrop, an educated free man from the North, was kidnapped into slavery. He would make us hold up our heads, walk us briskly back and forth, while customers would feel our hands and arms and bodies. He'd make us open up our mouths and show our teeth, precisely as a jockey examines a horse which he is about to barter for or purchase. <sighs> Scars upon a slave's back were considered evidence of a rebellious or unruly spirit in the hurt of sale. 90% of all African Americans are slaves. Four million men, women, and children. We have based this country on everyone having an inalienable rights to freedom and equality, and yet we created a system of uh, abject persecution. Slaves are fattened for auction, like livestock. Dark-skinned men are bought for the fields, light-skinned women for the house. Traders lie about their ages, even dye slaves' gray hairs. That's it. Give me Baruch 4 and 6. 
See, because our people don't understand that their history is in their Bible. Read that out. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 6. You were sold to the nations. It say nations. It just didn't say one nation. Read. Not for your destruction. Not for their destruction. It's for you to get yourself right. Read. But because ye moved God to wrath. It's the mouth, man. Read. Ye were delivered unto the enemy. To who? Unto the enemy. Read on. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto death. See, because our people love, love going into that wicked, ungodly spirit, man. They, it, they, they change like this. It's a pattern of good work in this walk, man. It's not hot and cold. You either going to be hot or you're going to be cold or you're not going to make it. Read on. And not to God. And they don't do it. And they don't understand when they hating on their own brother or sister, they hating on their God. Because we are a part of a body. Read on. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God. See, they have forgotten the everlasting God. They don't think when they do dumb stuff. Read. That brought you up. They don't they don't consider. Read. And ye have grieved Jerusalem. That does you have grieved. Back to Deuteronomy, man. 2868. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again with shit. See, we come into this Babylon, and you got to understand where was the northern kingdom going? They was going into bondage too. So it's a twofold. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Did they ever come? Some of them never came back here. When they took Pocahontas, did Pocahontas ever come back to Asheris, America? Nope. They stole her anyway. They ain't want no love story, man. They can kill that lie. That's what your enemy does. He all, all he do is set up on lies. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto who? Unto your enemy. We were sold unto our enemies, man. Give me Psalms 21 and 8. Sometimes our people love, you know, just like that uh, Edomite man out there beating our sister down. And then you'll see a sister. She'll walk by you and clutch a purse. Esau walk by. She'll grin in his face. Read that. I the book of Psalms, chapter 21 and verse 8. <laughs> thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. See, we're going to find out who our enemies is. See, all the other nations are our enemies. Read. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. And Yahweh shall going to bring it to your, to your understanding. Read on. Thou shalt make them as a fiery, fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Raging oven, man. Read on. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath. Read. And the fire shall devour them. All our enemies, man. See, you can't love someone the most high going to destroy them. You can't be married to the other nations. But see, some Israel, they, they can't take that. Read. Their fruit shalt thou destroy. See, their fruit is their children's read. From the earth. So how you going to be married to them? How you going to love somebody that hates you? When you understand how your power is going to destroy them. Read on. And their seed from among the children of men. And from the children of men. Read on. For they intended evil against thee. They, they, they delivered and they, and they intended this, man. And they continued with this. It's like a lot of you probably eat plastic food. Don't even know it, man. Some of you still running up into these restaurants. Don't even care. Don't like to listen. I'm just here to warn you. You can continue being dumb. I'm just going to tell you. I'm not going to be dumb with you. And I call it that, man, because... Somebody telling you to stay out of their establishment, man. We have to be the light to the nation. How you going to take your enemy down and you study going and patronizing his business, man? You study going and lifting him up over you. You can never take your enemy down as long as you funding his terror on you. Read on. They imagine a mischievous device. They imagine it, man. They, they look, they live for it. You think them police that 
riding around in their squat cars, man. They live for it. I just seen the Chicago, a retired demon, a devil, talking about the man should have shot him more than 16 times, man. And so you got all these people, the police, go, when do the police save anything? You, the person is shot dead, they get there. If they was really police and they'd already been there in the neighborhoods, having a relationship with the people that live there. They ain't nothing but the paddy patrol. Read on. Which they are not able to perform. And the ones that are coming back and keeping his commandment, they can't touch us. Esau, he keep from your pre-K, he got documentations on him. Basically, when you're born. He's trying to see, can he break you? Just like he break his horse. Lamentation 1 and 5. He's trying to break you like he break his horse. That's how he do us. He know the weak ones, they're not going to stand up. That's why he give them a nice job, give them government funding. You know, they're going to make all A's. I ain't care nothing about they making the A on the road or B on the road. That just showed me I was just dumb if I would have been doing that back then. I was thinking about how to kill this enemy of mine as, as, a, as a youngster. Because I, I grew up in the suburban area. So I understand how they're walking down the streets and three three Edomites open their door calling you nigger. See, a lot of people don't understand because they ain't been put in that position. Read uh, the book of Lamentation, chapter 1 and verse 5. Her adversaries are the chief. They are the rulers, man. They ruling over us. They at your job. See, they get, they give they give one of y'all a promotion. Y'all go to clowning your own peoples, man. You understand when you go into any area, Los Colinas, you got Elam over there. They only going to hire their own people. You got some of these so-called Mexicans. They only hire their own peoples because they brainwash. And we don't know. Some of them could be Spanish or some of them could be Israelites. But every nation hire their own, but see, us, we are hire our sister just try to see them. Or oh, wicked, look at this, they got a, a, a LGBT mirror in Chicago, man. This is the garbage that they continue to feed us, especially you got a wicked sister, you working there with your wife, and she like, your wife, she gonna fire you. She gonna fire that man. Cause she got, she she's evil just like her lover, the white man. Read it again. Her adversaries are the chief. Her enemies prosper. They how, how can you bring them down when you study going into their establishment? You got camps out here. That, that's all they teach the people. They blow more money on Esau, but then they out on the streets shaking their hand at the people. How you going to take your enemy down when you study funding the terrorists? Read up. For the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. While we hear, we still in captivity. That's why it's so important for us to come together as one. That's why you got so many different schools popping up because everybody's looking for something to, to soothsay their spirit. Let me tell you something, man. Uh, overseers do not play in this truth. You got baby children that Esau don't raise coming in the truth. Want to orchestrate and run things. It's not going to happen. Christ got to kill a lot of kill a lot of Israelites then. That's what it's got to be. I'm not going to shed a tear. Give me Psalm 74 and 2. I'm not going to shed one tear. Because you got warned. A lot of our people, they don't care. <laughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 74 and verse 2. Remember thy congregation. What? Remember thy congregation. Read. Which thou hast purchased of old. Read on. The rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed. This Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Christ is the one going to take us out of this captivity, man. See, Israel is looking for a man to save them. They, they looking to put somebody on a pedestal, man. That's why when you see 
the garbage that go on on Facebook, man, is sickening. This this dude that they, you know, you don't know if it's some kind of, I don't get into all that Illuminati stuff, but you know that they got the hand on that. They, they just, I'm going to tell you something, dude was a homosexual, man. You don't make money in Esau Kingdom unless you, you bend over on that couch. And I know some of y'all sisters don't even know nothing about the ghetto gaggers. How these white men dog our sisters out, man. Some of these sisters just wicked as hell, man, to sit up and take that treatment for, for $300 or $100. Crazy. Give me Mark 13 and 14. Our people, they don't think about, consider nothing. They'll come out there on that corner, ready to squab with us, to call us all out our names. We'll consider nothing. Read our the book of St. Mark, chapter 13 and verse 14. For when ye shall see the abomination of desolation. This is we were being warned by the prophets, even Yahweh shot. Read. Spoken of by Daniel it, the prophet. Even Daniel spoke this in, in Daniel's 8 and 13, man. Because People be like, well, we African. We were no, we're not Africans. We fled into Africa in 70 AD. Read. Standing where it ought not. Let him that read it understand. Let him that what? Read it understand. Read. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountain. That's how we got into Africa, man. We really we fled into Africa, man, after the Roman army was persecuting us. Let's get this in the Babylon, this book right here. From Babylon to Timbuktu. Let's see. Page 84. Read that right quick. Let's see. You know, Rudolph, man, he one wicked dude, man. He ain't trying to keep no commandments, but he got information that we can use. Read up. The book from Babylon to Timbuktu, page 84. In the year 65 B.C., the Roman armies of the General Pompey captured Jerusalem. They captured Jerusalem. Read. In 70 A.D., General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. To the Jew state, man. And and these were some pedophiles here, man. I'm just trying to tell you who these people are. Read. With great slaughter. Man, they killed a lot of our people, man. Starved them out. They were just killing them. It's just like rain. Left their dead bodies to be plucked off by the animals that came. The birds of the sky. And wouldn't allow nobody to bury them. You see how people love the enemy, man. How can you love someone that have slaughtered you from generation to generation? We don't. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrageous and atrocities were committed against the residents of the people. Israelite tree. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. And we understand this could be even higher. That's how we got into Africa. We fled in there. Why? Because the people look like us. And when we're Japanese, we would have fled into China. Where you blend in, where they couldn't just come in and go to slaughter. But see, these Romans understood where we were. Where do you think Christopher killing Columbus come from? All these Edomites that, that, that made an agreement with these African kings to round us up. They knew where we were. Read on. Fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery, the slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Black Jew slaves, man. Let's go to page 90. While we was in the land of Ham. Yeah. Page 90. <coughs> the black Jews had an advantage over the African tribes. See, we had an advantage, man. We were way more smarter than the Hamites, man. Read on. They carried their culture, history, Law and written records with them. Because everything we've been taught, we was over there chunking spears. Running around, bow feeding naked, chunking spears. 
That's not our history. That's the Hamite history. We better than that. Read. This assured them a constant precedent for the development of a higher social organization. Because of the stability of the black Jewish culture, the Jews were not absorbed into the Autochthonous population. In fact, the Jews absorbed some of the native tribes. We hired them to work for us, man. We much smarter than they are, man. That's why all nations hate us. Why you think Africa is not over there to teach us? See, and I don't get into that Ebola stuff, man. Uh, them tribes, you know, you got Israelites over here, are, 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 are more interested in some some that's going on over there, and I brought that out that the so-called white man went over there and taught these people that they was Israelites. They don't want to go do no history, no facts checking, and the, and, the, and those African kings over there in Ebola, wherever they at, say they had no idea what they talking about. Why you think you got them led Ethiopians into Israel now? They want everybody to be us and us to be nobody. But read on. The Jews made use of every opportunity. Just like we do here in America. We don't invent it, everything, but they, they won't give us no credit for nothing. The, most of the slaves that was inventing, they took the patent and, and Massa got it in his name so his generation family will be taken. That's that's a part of the curse. Just like the cell phone we use. A black man invented it in 71. Read on. They're, they were an industrious and skillful people. The Jewish, the Ghanaian the, the state were found kings, princes, governors, generals, secretaries, treasurers, revenue agents, judges, architects, engineers, doctors, historians, language interpret interpreters, mathemat mathematicians, jewelers, sculptors, masons, carpenters, painters of art, goldsmiths, leather workers, potters, armorers, saddlers, blacksmiths, agriculturalists, etc. Et and that the list goes on and on. So Et we have, without us, America will, will explode. Go to Daniel's 1 and 4. Let me show you how they chose us, man. How they understand who we are. The book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 4. Children in whom was no blemish. But well favored read. and skillful in all wisdom. The same old thing, man. Read. And cunning in knowledge. Cunning in knowledge, read. And understanding science. We understand everything. Read. And such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the child being. See, you have to understand, man, we the salt of the earth. Without us, this place implode. And that's what you're seeing with Esau. Give me Revelations 2, 20 and 1. Matter of fact, start at 2. The book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 2. Start at verse 1. Verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. Esau was in, Esau was in hard. We had locked him down, man. They was in the Caucasus Mountains of, of uh, wherever Mount there is. You know, they was all in Spain, France, you name it. They was everywhere in mountains. They just wasn't locked in one region. Read. And a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon. Of that nation, Esau, read. That old serpent. Call him old, read. Which is the devil. The deceiver, read. And Satan. The adversary of God, read. And bound him a thousand years. Because we ruled Europe for a thousand years. They would never teach. They call it the Dark Ages. So you understand about them ships, man. Before them ships, we was royalty around here. Read. And cast him into the bottomless pit. And threw him into a bottomless pit, man. Read. And shut him up. And set a seal upon him. That he should deceive the nations no more. See, 
that they should not deceive the nations no more. Read. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Until the thousand years, until the end of that thousand years when we was in Europe, ruling Europe at that time. Read on. And after that, he must be loose a little deeper. So, you got to understand, he was loosened for a little season. See, some people thinking when Christ get here, that this is going to happen. This is already taking place. Read. And I saw a throne, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Read on. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh. A lot of, lot of our brothers have lost their heads for this truth, man. Some of us, we scared to go in there to that guillotine. I, they'd be like, you next, I walk right up there and put my neck, man, I know this pressure's over with. Cause next time you see me, you ain't gonna be able to cut my head off. See, don't worry about nothing here, man. Read. And for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast. See, cause we're not, I seen this pastor, would I be dealing with this self? When you're not worshipping the beast, it flexes their little spirits. Read. Neither his image. Neither his image. Some of them say, well, color doesn't matter. But it does if it's written in the book. Read. Neither have received his mark upon their forehead. The, ne, not taking, see, when did we receive that mark? When it brought us off them slave ships, man, and taught us everything that they wanted us to know. And some of us continue to carry that. Read. Or in their hands. And they live and reign with Yahweh a thousand years. So I guess that the hand is talking about the chip. A lot of y'all, when y'all go into the army, which hand you use? You use your hand to pledge allegiance to that flag. You you about their system. You love Babylon more than you love your God. Give me the give me this next video, man. Let's see about you, man. So they'll never show you none of this stuff on their television. See, the Moors just mean black. You got a lot of these dumb Moors, man. They don't understand they was Israelites. Mathematics, astronomy. Cultural, you name it. So they teach us we dumb, man, but we're the smartest people on the planet. See, people didn't understand the universes and stuff that we had there, education system. Don't talk about fashion, man. Changing clothes based on season. Esau wore the same garments all year, all year round. Created deodorant. All the stuff we have done. The food. Nobody understand we had power. Street lights, hospital, running water. Medicine. Who's already doing surgery? Even tried to human flight, man. They stole all this from us. That's why we got a gift to go and do this, man. Let your enemy tell you, you can't do anything. Underground, underground grain storage. Paper making. Where do you think Esau know where all this stuff? He stole it from us.
Let's sit on that. Let's get this book, man. Hey, I got your mic. Read that about John Mackey. Miss that first one. I want y'all to know a little bit about this either, my yeah. John Mackey, government agent or spy, author of Memoirs of Secret Service. See, this book right here, let me see it. <laughs> read on. Was a Scotsman of good education. See, read on. But of his, per, but of his parentage or birth, known, nothing is known. According to his own account, he came early into the measures of the revolution. See, that was revolting against us that was ruling Europe at that time. Read on. And being on the return of King James from Ireland to France, sent to Paris to find to find out the further purposes of the Jacobites. So he wanted to go and spy us out, get information, and he got records in his book. Read on. He discovered that the French government intended to send an expedition against England in 1692. He arrived in London with the information before James reached his army and camped at La Hue, and thus gave the government ample time for predict for, for preparations against it. That's why I say never trust your enemy, but read on. A hundred percent proof that King James, according to the British Secret Service, was black. Was what? Was black. Let's get this in page eight. Let's come out of fact, go to page thirty-six in this book. Let him know where you at. Page thirty-six. This man had written records of us, man. So I know they ain't gonna be hollering now that the European Europe was some kind of white society. No, it was us. Go ahead. The book Memoirs of the Secret Service of John Mackey, Esquire, during the reigns of King William, William, Queen Anne, and King George the First. So I'll read page 36, man. I got it all underlined. Page 36. His son to King Charles the Second. By the Duchess of Portsmouth. He was carried by his mother into France in the reign of King James and left in the and left France in the reign of King William, when he declared himself for the religion and constitution of his country. Of his, of his country. Read on. He is a gentleman, a gentleman, good, good natured, to a fault, very well bred, <laughs> and has many valuable things in him. Is an enemy to buffet, buffiness, very credulous, well shaped, black complexion. What? Black complexion. I, I didn't know that the Secret Service. Of the Edomites kept records on us even back then. Read on. Much like King Charles. Much like who? King Charles. Go to page 40, man. They had, they've been spied, they spied us out now. A lot of y'all don't believe that, but hey. Uh, let's just go to the, to the crux of things. Uh, down here, let's go down there. Charles Fitzroy, Duke of Grafton, is grandson to King Charles II. See, these are all blood names. Read on. And son to the Harris of Bennett, Earl of Arlington, is a, is a very pretty gentleman. Oh, look what he called him. Is a very pretty gentleman. Dude had a sugar in his paper. Go ahead. <laughs> has been abroad in the, in the world. Zealous for the constitution they, of his country. They stood on the belief of this, this word. Now, read. A tall black man. A what? A tall black man. They knew, man. See, we did what is true. We are about 25 years old. They knew how old we was. Go to page 82. See, these Edomites keep records on us, man, and we are discovering everything they're doing now. 
and we're exposing them. So somebody can't just say that King James was a so-called white man. Where we at? Let's read here, right here. Let's, let's look how he talked about his brother. We ain't got to read the top. Who is this? Read here, my prayer, and let him know who it is. Richard Earl of Ranlock. He is a bold man. He's a what? Bold man. He is a. Let's start down. Sorry. Yeah. He is very fat. Hold on. What did he call the brother? He is very fat. Read on. Black. What? Black. Read on. And turned to 50 years old. They, didn't use, they understand us, man. Give me page 107. Matter of fact, 70. 70. Yeah, 70 and 71. Plenty information. Let's see. Let's start down right here. Let's see. That's that yeah, right there. Yeah, that's all we want. Oh, you already? Nah. Yeah, just get his name and everything. Algernon Campbell, Earl of of Effects. He is a well-bred gentleman. Brown complexion. What? Brown complexion. Be long. And well-shaped. But his mouth is always open. Well, they study us, man. <laughs> Read up. He is about 30 years old. How old is he? 30 years old. Let's see what else we got in here. Go over here, right here. Read this up here, though. Let him know who the person is. Bethel Fielding, Earl of Den Hop, Den Bach. All these countries. Read. He is tall. He is what? He is tall. Read him. Fat. What? Fat. Read him. Very black. Very black. Read. <laughs> and turned of 40 years old. Now give me page 101. They had kept particular notes on us. That's why I tell you they seek out the weak. Where we at? Just read this and go down there. There's more of these guys. Robert Lord Lexington. Companion. Handsome. What? Handsome. I told you, dude. Get rid of him. Of a brown complexion. Of a what? Of a brown complexion. Read on. 40 years old. Give me page 107, man. <sighs> the British Secret Service. Where we at? Yeah, right there. John Lord Albert Albertham has a great estate in Suffolk and improves it is a thin brown man 50 years old. See? It's like they keep the records on us, man. That's how we read on that. Let's go back. I forgot something in uh, Babylon the Temple of Two. This is why our people can't get right. Page 123. The book Babylon the Temple of Two. Page 123. <laughs> the Hebrew religion is such that if you deny your religion, you will eventually deny your nationality. So that's what the whole thing was, man. They denied, when they denied this truth, they denied who they are. Read. The sociologists and psychologists know. They know this, man. Yo, the ones that's up a rank, got all the money, they know. How to keep us, keep that pressure on us. They give them flat screens and curved TVs, man. Make them happy. Give them a little remote so you don't have to get up and turn the TV no more. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all don't know what they used to have or not. Some of you used to have to have them pliers to get up on there and turn the channel with the pliers. Mm-hmm. See, now you make it easy to sit back with the remote. Read on. And history has proven that. See, history have proven that. Read. If you deny your culture. See, our people, they deny their culture. They don't care. Well, man, we don't care about none of that, man. We're Americans now. America can burn, man. Read. And nationality. Read on. Over a long period of time. Captivity. You will totally forget it through a process of assimilation. Process of understanding information or idea. Go to Revelation 20 and 7. See, because someone had to be Accountable, accountable for this. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired. See, when we rule you for a thousand years and they had expired, read. Say, who? Say, what's the so called white man? Say, what about the white woman? Say, what about their children? Say, read on. Shall be loosed out of his prison. 
You see, Satan was loose, man. He was released out of his prison, man, to deceive the nations, man. Read verse 8, that first sentence. And shall go out to deceive the nations. That's what he does. But he hides himself. No one has never seen the movie of Esau. See, they never make that movie. You get your head blown off when you see it. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. You get your head blown off or, you, or your country destroyed if you make a movie of that. I guarantee it. Read up the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old. That's what our old people hate, man. You ever try to teach an old lady, big mama, old school? They don't, they, oh, man, I'm about to care about that way back in the past, man. What did the Bible say? Remember the days of old. It told them to remember. Read. Consider the years of many generations. Think about all this captivity we don't been through. Read. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. The elders are going to inform you. Read. When the Most High divided to the nations. When he divided the nations, their land, read. Their inheritance. Read on. When he, Shalaki, when he separated the sons of Adam. Read on. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Everything is based on us, man. Everything. First Peter 2 and 9. It's because they go to the new, the new, the new covenant, and they make it into some. God loved John. The first word they're gonna go is John three sixteen. Ain't got a pot to piss in with John three sixteen. Read that up. The book of First Peter chapter two and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation. Saying the same thing. A chosen generation. Read a royal priesthood. They still royalty, man. All you gotta do is come return back to who you are. Read. And the holy nation. Holy, separate. See, our people don't want to separate ourselves from the other nations. Read. A peculiar people. A what? A peculiar people. Peculiar people. Read. That ye should true forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Some of us, we don't know that, man. Give me wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15. Some of us, we don't want that, man. That's why I say Israel is being awakened to be judged. The book Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4 and verse 15. This the people saw Read on. and understood it not. They still don't understand it, man. They still want to be mingled with the other nations. They still want to be hard-headed, man. How you going to build a nation if we're not all on, all on the same page? Read. Neither lay they up this in their mind. They don't take it in their mind because when you hate one, you hate all. We don't hate our brother that's wicked. We don't hate the two thirds, but they got to die. Read. That his grace and mercy is with his saints. With who? With his saints. Read on. And that he hath respect unto his chosen. He have respect unto who? His chosen. His chosen, man. Give me Exodus 19 and 5. See, they had us on slave ships. The new slave ships are the prison houses, man. That's where they beat us to death, treat us. Workers for 15 cents. We still getting dealt out here. This is a little bit easy bondage, but that's hell in that, in that penthouse. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 5. Now, therefore, if ye would obey my voice indeed. See, if they would only listen, man, and stop trying to buck up to us and tell us what the master has robbed them of, destroyed them. They love to give us that dumb information. Read. And keep my covenant. And keep the covenant, the old covenant and the new covenant. Read. Then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Read on. Above all people. We above everybody, man. That's what these nations do. That's why they look down at you. They look for this. Read. For all the earth is mine. All this belongs to our God, man. Read. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. Read on. And a holy nation. A separate nation. Read. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. We try to tell them, man, but they don't want to hear. Psalm 79 and 13. They don't understand we're not coming into the clean your ways. You're not coming into the kingdom with the raggedy ways. It's a pattern of good work, man. A pattern of good work. 
read that out of the book of Psalms, chapter 79 and verse 13. So we thy people. So we thy people's read. And sheep of thy pastors. We are the sheep of his pastors read. Will give thee thanks forever. Some of us don't do that, man, because we catch attitude, we get mad. You can't do that in this truth. Read. Will we shoot forth thy praise to all generations? We're gonna show forth our praise to all generations. Give me Isaiah 60 and 1. You can't be in this truth like that, man. I keep trying to tell you, you can't operate. And it's true, and you you got to be in the spirit. We say it all the time. A lot of people don't be knowing we say stay in the spirit, man. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the spirit means just keep the commandments. Understand what your mission is. Understanding who we are. Read that out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. See, the light of truth is here. What else you what you looking for? Read. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. See, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Read. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. See, darkness, Esau, he's in control of the whole planet. Read. And gross darkness. And gross darkness, man. All kind of abominational things going on here. Read. The people. Uh, even of Israel. Read. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. The most highly sign is here. Read. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. This is the northern kingdom. Read. And kings to the brightness of thy rise. Read on. Lift up thine eyes round about. It say, look, man, see what's going on. Our people don't take the time out to investigate, <laughs> to go do their homework. They too busy running to their lying pastors. I'm going to tell you something. I got one I'm on, on, on this video coming this, this seven. They know the truth is in the churches now. And the pastor's talking about they're going to stand up and roar. Nobody, you can't come to a, a lion's body as a kitty cat. <laughs> because you don't know the scriptures. Don't come up in there and you don't know them. You, all you're going to get is slice and dice. Read on. And see. And oh, what? And see. Some of them don't like to see, man. Look at what is happening. We're celebrating our high holy day. We're keeping the seventh day. We're gathering as a nation. They don't want to see that. Esau sure don't want to see it. Read. All they gather themselves together. Hold up, they what? All they gather themselves together. See, he's not talking about them Negroes on Facebook, man. Because all they want to do is share videos about a dead rapper, man. What good is he going to do for our nation? What good is these 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 people that are gone going to do for us? I'm not going to talk about somebody that died in, in, in Britain. I have no information. I'm not calling their wicked parents, man. If they're not in this truth, I'm not dealing with them. See, I'm going to focus on this word and keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments and loving my brothers and sisters. When you got all that other garbage on your mind, you're not focused on the truth. Read. They come to thee. They what? They come to thee. Read on. Thy sons shall come from far. And thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. See, because we see these things, man. A lot of people don't see what we see. We got people contacting us all across the country, man. We're not worried about Facebook, YouTube, and all that garbage. After a while, they're going to shut it down. What, 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 what you going to do then? We're going to continue to march out there to the streets, man. And we're getting ready to come to your city soon. So y'all will be seeing our travel. I will travel this soon, man. We putting a band in the shop. We're about to get it rolling so we can get ready to come to your city. That's right. And call the white man the devil in front of you, weak spirit man. That's right. Read on. Then thou shalt see. Then they're going to see us coming, man. They're going to see these guys in the spirit of your house, shall read. And flow together. And they're going to flow with us, man. They're in the group. Look at their garments, man. Look at their sisters. they in order. Read. And thine heart shall fear. And they mind going to fear, man. This white man going to kill me. If I don't, go. don't fear. Read. And be enlarged. And they gonna, they mind going to be enlarged, man. Because we're going to show them things they don't understand. Read. Because the abundance of the sea. The heaven read. Shall be converted unto thee. They don't have understanding of what's going on on this planet. Because they don't have that understanding. Because they're in front of their TV. Read. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. These those northern kingdom, they're going to follow us soon, man. Y'all going to see Issachar and the rest of the, the northern tribe raise up. Because we have to continue the boots on the ground campaign. 
Our job is to go out here and wake our people up. Our, our brothers and sisters are supposed to be in unity, not causing division. When you're causing division, he's going to weed you out. But this is why Israel don't understand who they are. Because there's so much garbage. When you see an Israel posting something about a rapper, and they don't even share their own video. They don't even like the brothers that's going out there on the streets teaching the word. We are the most hated even in Israel. Because we're not doing it the way that they want it done. We're not letting Big Mama get away with it. We're not letting that wicked sister out talk us or that, that weak brother talk down to us. That's what's wrong with our nation. Still focusing on the wrong thing. And in here, we should not be focused. We should be sharing videos about a dead rapper. What good is he there for us? I said I was going to say, I seen one dude post. He said, people didn't know five songs this guy sang or rapped about. But they talking all this stuff about how he got killed. Tell me, show me some of the video that how he got killed. Why there's never no blood? Why we never get any graphic photos? Why is this guy 33 years old? Why has he got shot six times? Why is the same MO for these people dying? Just like Tupac. Why is it that he got shot, come back, got killed? Why is 50 Cent got shot? These are characters that they want y'all to talk about. Talk about your Lord and Savior. Shalom.